Hello racing fans, this is NASCAR Racing Fan 2015, back with another paint scheme collab. And finally, finally I'm filming this video. I mean, it's better late than never, but I've been postponing this so much. You know, I was going to post it right before I took my break. It was going to be like that Saturday, but then I decided, ah, eh, not really. I would rather make that Jeffrey Earnhardt video, the final video. And then I was going to post it that first week, but then my computer had issues, so I pushed it back again. Then the weather wasn't good and you know, just awful timing. I forgot to do it and I just kept pushing it back further and further. But thank goodness the weather was nice. So I got some awesome shots of these paint schemes and finally we're gonna do this video. We're finally gonna get it. As this is all the stuff I got, all the 164 cars I got from Christmas 2017. It's sure to be exciting. I got six cars, they're all great paint schemes. Now some of them, are lame duck cars because I thought they weren't gonna change the paint scheme. So that's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Isn't it awesome whenever I buy a lame duck car? I mean, yeah, there are some of those, just showing how stupid I am, but it should be an entertaining video. Hope you guys like it, and let's get right on with the first car up. First up, we have Kevin Harvick and his awesome Bush Light. Ford Fusion, and of course I was gonna pick up this car after the disaster known as the Bush Beer car on the PTC mold. And you know, I'm gonna probably get the Jimmy John's car in the 2018 season. So I said, just decided to get this car for Christmas. And what a beautiful paint scheme it is. I mean, this is the light look. It's got more simpler colors than the Bush car because you know it has like, the Bush Beer has the brighter, light blue and it has you know darker with the mountains and the gold this car is a simple look and i'm excited to get it and the paint scheme has no flaws whatsoever this is a great buy for me and eh, until they change the fords for 2019 but this guy's off to a hot start so far in 2018 two wins hopefully we can see the bush car in victory lane as well it's such a nice scheme it gets a top five finish from me i really like this car it's one of my favorite kevin harvick paint schemes and you know it's the same in the 2018 i just get the 2018 or you know get the accurate bush car the good bush car not the one made the one that's a dumpster fire so this one's an absolute beauty and i really think you should get it it's a great get for me from christmas and man man just look at that the beautiful bush that looks awesome next up we have a car that was an awful buy for me terrible oh my gosh i got trevor baines advocare car from santa why do i keep saying buy santa gave me this in the chimney i wrote a list to him and this is what i got and guess what the reason why I got this car was because I decided to be a dummy and thought they weren't going to change the paint scheme. And what do you know? They're running a black car this year. Yeah. So nothing like this. I'm going to use this as a secondary paint scheme whenever I get the Advocare car, the black one. But this car is cool. I like the colors. A lot of people hate it. I know Race Day 2011, you know, he didn't like the design. I like it. I think it's a nice look for Trevor Bain. You know, I wish they would have kept this base. I wish they'd run more of this paint scheme. I mean, Advocare has been scaling back their sponsorship. And it's really sad. I mean, only 15 races this year, really. I mean, there's more Ford paint schemes from the dying dinosaur every single week. And it gets really annoying because, you know, they have some good paint schemes. And I'm sick and tired of seeing the Ford car. So anyways, this car definitely gets a top five finish for me. I like it. I shouldn't have bought it, though. I should have just waited until next year's car. But whatever. This is my streak. I have four years in a row of getting the Advocare car. I got the Spin Master car, whatever it is. And then I got the other three. And, oh, boy, look, another wasted buy for me. Yes, this these buys keep making me look stupid. But anyways, I asked Santa for the Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 2017 Fastenal car, thinking they wouldn't change the paint scheme. And what do you know? Look at this car. 
I mean, it's the same thing as the last couple of years. I was so sick of using that 2015 car. And what do you know, if I would have been patient by another week and a half, by the time I sent Santa that list, I would have realized they would have changed the paint scheme and I would have just left this car out and I would have gotten the fifth third bank car instead. But I decided to be a moron and I'm stuck with this car. So I don't know how I'm gonna use this. I'm definitely gonna get the fast amount scheme from this year. And that car, I hated it at first, but it's getting a little bit better. It looks a lot nicer. But this one, it's a good paint scheme. I wouldn't recommend you buy it just because, you know, it's kind of a repetitive scheme. We've seen it way too much. It gets a top 10 finish for me. I don't know. I've wasted so much money on Stenhouse cars. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have way too many. I got the 50 years. I got this car now. You know, I got the fifth, third Talladega win, and I'll probably waste money on another one soon. So you got to love me just throwing away perfectly good money on stuff I already have or stuff I really don't need. I've wasted a lot of money. Next up is Gray Golding Sunfrog Toyota Camry from 2017. And this was going to be another awful choice to put on my Christmas list because they decided to go bankrupt. Yeah, bankrupt racing. Yeah, that makes perfect sense for this awful team. They are terrible. And I'm going to get on to a rant soon about how awful they are. It's going to be entertaining. But yeah, it was going to be a horrible choice to get. But luckily... They decided it looks like they're going to live. It looks like they're going to continue. I mean, thank goodness. So then I wouldn't have looked stupid getting this car. But the Sunfrog scheme is really good. It's one of the better cars. Way better than the Sweet Frog car that was made on the PT Seamal. Oh, that car looks ugly. But yeah, this is a nice car. And now I absolutely hate the driver. If you haven't seen my Greg Golding rant. Yeah, Greg Golding's an awful driver. Why he's even at this point in his career is sickening. He should be working at Krispy Kreme, not driving a professional stock car. He shouldn't even have a NASCAR license. That's just a preview. But anyways, this car gets a top 10 for me. I like the Sun Frog car. Just look at that, the light green and the black and the frog on the front looks really, really nice, looking cool. It's a shirt company, so that's really interesting. I wonder if, you know, they print Kmart shirts or something that's similar to this team. Next up is Chris Buescher and his Bush's Baked Beans Chevy SS from the 2017 NASCAR season. And wow, this is such a good paint scheme. For now, it's a good pickup for me, mainly because, you know, his 2018 car won't come out until September or October, which is by the time my birthday, so I'll just get it then. But anyways, yeah, and about that 2018 car, uh, brown, like that's the new color. I mean, at the same time, it's good to see some more diversity in the field. I mean, man, they've got some diverse paint schemes this year, but uh, brown, uh, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I like this color car though. I'm gonna miss the blue Bush's baked beans car, but anyways, I mean, he has such great sponsors. I mean, he has a Kleenex car, Cottonelle, Kingsford. He has Natural Light, that beautiful gain car. He has some good paint scheme. I wish they'd make more of those instead of just his Bush car every year. But anyways, this car gets a top 10 finish. I like this paint scheme. Sad to see it go. And Chris Bush is putting up a nice effort so far in the Cup Series. He has almost as many top 10s as Danica on this team so far in only his second season there, which is good for him. Good for Chris Buescher. Hopefully he can do better in this upcoming season. And last up is the car. This is my most anticipated car. Martin Truex Jr.'s auto owner's Toyota Camry from the 2017 season. Finally, I have this car. You don't know how long I've wanted to get this car. I've wanted to get it for at least the last year or so. When they added a NASCAR Authentics, I wanted it so badly, but now I guess it's good I didn't find it because, well, what do you know? I have it here. It's on the accurate Toyota Camry, and I was going to get this like in October or November, but I just decided to ask Santa for it for Christmas, and wow, what a great car. I like the blue design and how it fades in a light blue. Now, apparently they're changing the paint scheme from 
2017 to 2018. Apparently there's this big A logo on the front, which will probably kill the paint scheme. But anyways, I like this version of the car. It gets a top five finish for me. It's such a beautiful car. And this car has already won three races. They've won more races in what? one, two seasons, then Caterpillar has won in like the last 18 or 19 seasons, sponsoring Ryan Newman. Yeah, Caterpillar needs to reconsider whether they sponsor Ryan Newman, but I'll get onto that in the next video. This is a beautiful car. I advise you get, if you don't have it, you're just sad. It's Martin Chook Jr.'s best paint scheme by landslide. Anyone will enjoy this in their collection. So yeah, that's the end of that paint scheme collab. And my favorite paint scheme is definitely the Martin Truex Jr. Auto Owners. And then it would be probably, yeah, probably Kevin Harvick's Bush Light would easily be second. And then it would either be Trevor Bain probably or Greg Golding and then Chris Busher and then Ricky Stiles Jr. I mean, Ricky Stiles Jr.'s car is nice, but... I mean, it finally, thank goodness it got a change, even though I said to ask Santa for it, and unfortunately that didn't work out. But anyways, that wraps up the 2017 of these videos, and like I said, better late than never. Finally, finally I'm done with this video. I don't have to worry about it ever again. But yeah, the next one next week will be on the 2018 cars, and it will be on richer children racing and their two cars we have the daytona 500 winning car in austin dillon and then we have his teammate to look at so that'll be an exciting video hope you guys tune in there'll be some more additions of the paint scheme collab i mean i have a lot of stuff planned for this series it's going to be a big series and i hope you guys keep watching so this is nash crazy fan 2015 signing out